Welcome to Crocodile MTG, your home of competitive, constructive play in the modern, standard, and legacy formats. Today's video was brought to you by all our wonderful sponsors, affiliates, and patrons. Thank you so much for supporting the Crocodile MTG channel, and we hope you enjoy today's video. Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Jordan with Crocodile MTG here bringing you another Magic the Gathering video. Today we're going to do a Guilds of Ravnica draft. This is ranked on MTG Arena. Uh, without further ado, let's get into our pack one pick one. Alright, so for our rare in this pack we have Blood Operative which has lifelink and is a 3-1. And whenever it enters the battlefield you can exile a card from target graveyard. And whenever you surveil, if Blood Operative is in the graveyard, you may pay 3 life, and if you do, uh, you can return it to your hand. So we could go for a surveil deck here. If we are doing the surveil deck, we also have Disinformation Campaign, which uh, when it enters the battlefield, you can draw a card and each opponent discards a card. And then also Thought Eraser in this pack. So we actually have some choices here for going that route. There's also Harpooner, which uh, when it enters the battlefield, it gets plus X plus O, where X is the number of creatures in your graveyard. And then if it does, you can have it fight a creature with flying your opponent controls. Uh, we also have Healer's Hawk here, which is a pretty decent card. I think we're just going to take the Blood Operative, though, to start off. Alright, so this pack doesn't have a lot of black supportive cards. It does have a Healer's Hawk, a Marshal, which are decent cards. There's also a Sergeant in here, which is pretty good. Um, we have a Route, which can mana fix if we're going to go multiple colors. We also have a Whisper Agent that has Surveil. So if we're going to stick to the Surveil mechanic, we might actually want the Agent here over everything else. All right, let's pick the agent here, uh, stick to the surveil plan, and see, like, there's nothing else that stands out other than Healer's Hawk that, like, is really good in this pack, but, I mean, I guess we can get agent later. Let's take the hawk and see what's in the next pack. Okay, so we have actually an um, Emera, Soul of the Accord, and whenever it becomes tapped, you can actually make a 1-1 white soldier creature. We also have Gar uh, Golgari Fine Broker, though. When it enters the battlefield, you can return a permanent card from your graveyard to the uh, to your hand. Um, I don't think I mind a Mara here. We might actually end up kind of branching into a different color. We're gonna take a Mara here. All right, now we have sur some Surveil supportive cards. But we also have the Centaur, which is kind of uh, a cross between what we're doing here. We can either uh, kind of go for this Convoke strategy or we can go for a Surveil strategy. Uh, I think Convoke's a little more powerful, to be honest. It's a little hard to get all the pieces for the Surveil and Draft. Um, if we're going for the Surveil, I take the Notion Rain, but I feel like we're going to have a better chance in like Naya. I mean, Selesnia or, or Naya, splashing red. Um, so I'm going to actually take the Centaur here. All right, here's another Healer's Hawk. And I think that's good enough to take here. I'm surprised we had three packs in a row with Healer's Hawks in them. That's actually a really good card in this draft. All right, so here, I think it might be the Fresh Face Recruit. There's nothing else really standing out in this pack as something we'd want. Maybe Prey Upon, maybe the Wilds. Um, pack favor is not bad. But uh, this Fresh Race Recruit has uh, First Strike as long as it's your turn, which is a very good card. It's a good two drop. It's also a decent Convoker. Here's a Gateway Plaza in case we go Naya. Here's a Generous Stray. I think this pack I want the Generous Stray. I mean, not the Generous Stray, the uh, Gateway Plaza. Because I'm not sure exactly what 
colors we're going into yet. Here I can take a guild gate. We also have uh, an antelope here. Take heart's not bad. I think I'm gonna take heart here. All right, here's a peacemaker, which when it enters each player gains four life. It's not a bad card for a three three, but I don't think it's one we're, we want. If we're gonna go for the Naya splash though, I think I want Sergeant here. All right, so here's a route. Here's a vigil. It's also a generous stray and a prey upon. Let's take the vigil here. All right, I don't not, I don't mind the centaur again. We have quite a few uh, low CMC cards already. I'm gonna put this blood operative in the sideboard for the moment. Uh, let's take centaur here. If we're going to splash, I don't mind this Sergeant. Recluse also isn't bad because it has reach. Let's take the Recluse here. Um, like, let's take the Crawl. Eh, I don't know if we actually want the Crawl because we want our curve to kind of be low. And then we want to convoke out big spells. We'll take the crawl. We'll see if it makes the cut, though. I don't mind the wild here. And Slezinia lock it to finish us out. All right. Quasi duplicate here is our rare. I don't think that's one we want to pick in this pack. I don't have any. It'd be nice to be able to pick one up. But I think Rock Charger is definitely better in this pack. Uh, Renewal is also not a bad card. I'm gonna take rock though. I don't think there's anything else that stands out in this pack. Rock Charger is definitely one of the more powerful cards. Here's a thousand year storm. I think I picked up a copy of that yesterday. Um, let's take the Loxodon here, I think. Sky Legion's not a bad card. We could do that if we're gonna splash red, but I don't see anything. Like, the red cards haven't been super powerful. Like, we want mentor mechanics for the red cards if we splash red. We're going to take Loxodon here. All right, here's a Burroughs Guild Gate. We also have a Sworn Companion, though, and also Haunt a Witness. Let's take the companion here. Here's another take heart. Uh, I don't think we want a reflection. Yeah, I think it's just take heart here. Ooh, I almost picked something by accident. Um, all right, Sundew is not bad. It's an early 04 with reach. It can be given indestructible late game, and it also uh, can help convoke out some of these uh, late game threats. We might end up just going straight green white. Let's take Sundew here. It definitely slows a lot of our opponent's creatures down. Uh, let's take Loxodon Restorer. All right, I don't mind another companions in this pack. Peacekeeper actually might not be that bad since we're going to be playing these large uh, four drops, like three fours and four fours. Not four drops, they're actually uh, five and six, but with Convoke. All right, let's read uh, Wood Shaper real quick. When it enters the battlefield, look at the top four cards of your library. You can put a creature card or enchantment card among them into your hand and then put the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. So, 4-drop for a 2-1. I don't think that's very good. That heightens our curb. Let's take Sunkeeper here. Or Peacemaker, I mean. Alright, here's another Convoke Renewal. 
which also destroys target artifact or enchantment, which isn't bad. I think I'm going to take that here. All right, I don't see anything standing out in this pack. I guess we'll take the creeping chill side. All right, here I'll take the haunted witness since it's left over. Uh, I'm going to take the reflection palm or pause for reflection, but I don't think I'm going to play it. Uh, I guess the garrison. All right, and we got another reflection. Ooh, all right, we have a uh, sure assemble, which is really good. Put a 1-1 one -one counter on a creature you control, gains indestructible until the turn, or you can pay 6 and it's instant speed, create 3 two, 2 elves. So that's definitely a good card. We also have a uh, glaive here. I really don't see anything in this pack other than the Assure I actually want. Here's an Expansion Explosion, which might actually be the pick. I don't think we're going to play it in this draft, but I need it for Constructed, especially uh, for the next set that comes out. I'd really like to take this Affectionate, but I really want the value off the Expansion. Alright, we're going to pass on the Affectionate and take the expansion. Sorry guys if uh, you don't like my value drafting. Um, untap all creatures you control, they gain hexproof and indestructible until end of turn. That's not a bad card and it can catch our opponent off guard sometimes. Let's take it. I don't know if it's gonna make the cut though. Okay, we're gonna take March for the Multitudes here. That's perfect in our deck we're constructing. Uh, here's another peacekeeper. We're gonna take Marshall though, I think. Okay, we're gonna take this Knight of Autumn. We also have uh, Cavalier here. I think Knight of Autumn is just a tad bit more versatile. We're gonna take Knight of Autumn. Um, I don't see anything in here that's super excited. We're gonna take this Invert. Again, nothing too exciting in this pack. I guess we'll take the Disdainful Stroke. Alright, here's a Convoker. We also have a Selesnia Guildgate. Maybe we take the Guildgate here? I don't know, we have a lot of one drops, so maybe we just want the... Alright, we'll take the Worm here. Just random. Um, I don't mind Haunted Witness, I guess. Peacekeeper. Dissident. Reflection. All right, we got some uh, some random gems here. All right, here's Marshall, Healer's Hawk, Haunted Witness. I don't think I mind any of those. I'm gonna cut the Take Hearts for a moment. Um, Dissident, I guess, can stay. Sundew, we don't really want. Fresh face, fresh faced recruiter. Yeah, I, I guess we don't mind that one. Assure is definitely staying. Sergeant's getting out of here. I'm gonna leave. Join the shields for a minute. Siege worm's good. March for the multitudes is good. Let's actually skip on the that and none of that this might even be a cut to be honest vigil can get cut knight of autumn's good peacekeepers all right reflections gone hold on a second i'm not sure about recluse we might end up cutting recluse sorry guys my phone was on and i wanted to make sure it didn't go off in the middle of our uh, middle of our stream here, not stream, but recording. Um, all right, Hitchclaw Recluse here. I think that can be a cut. I think we really want to be an aggressor. We can keep the Swarns. I think that's good. I think we want to cut the Peacekeepers here. I 
I don't think we want it in our opponent's advantage to gain four life. And like if they're if we end up stabilizing our opponent, that's gonna feel really bad. But if we end up stabilizing from it, it's gonna feel really good. I'm actually gonna cut it. I don't think we want to take a turn off for the gateway. Hmm. Is Peacekeeper worth it? I guess is the question we're asking. I'm gonna cut Peacekeeper here. Unless it's the Haunted Witness or something else we wanna cut. <laughs> Maybe we do want the Peacekeeper. I wish I had a chat right now. I should be live streaming. If you'd like to see me live stream, put a comment down below this video. It's something I've been considering, and I want to actually know how many people would be interested in seeing it before, before I actually do it. Let's cut a Haunted Witness. I guess Haunted Witness, though, can block for free. Because it just replaces itself. I don't know. Peacekeeper just doesn't feel good if we're going to be aggressive in the beginning, hitting for like one or two damage and then gaining four life. I'm going to cut the Peacekeepers. Let's see if there's anything else we want to add or cut here. No, I think this is good. Is there anything else out here we should add? Probably not. Again, Peacekeeper, I don't really see. Join the Shields isn't, isn't bad, but I don't think I want it. I can see playing a uh, take heart, maybe. I don't know. Our goal is to go wide, but I'm gonna I'm gonna add one take heart in. Dissident's good late game. If we run out of gas. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> now let's cut a dissident. I feel like we're going more white aggro anyhow. All right, let me update the deck list here and I will be right back and we will be on to the matches. Thank you guys for watching so far. Uh, stay tuned for some matches. I'll be right back in one minute. All right, everyone, welcome back. Let's get into these matches. So you're uh, to the right of your screen should be the updated deck list. We're going to keep this hand. We have three lands, two, three playable cards. Our hand is pretty well positioned, I think. Uh, and if we draw a Convoke spell, we're going to be able to send that out pretty, pretty early. All right, there is a Convoke spell there. And if our opponent does nothing this turn, I think we're just going to aggro out. All right, each time you surveil, you can surveil two more times. All right, change of plans. We're going to attack, and then we're going to play this rock charger. Alright, so our opponent's on a Surveil deck. So 
so that's a little worrisome. Hopefully we can just uh, out aggression that him. All right, there's a spy bug. All right, I'm gonna attack with Wolf here. We're gonna give the fresh-faced recruit flying. All right, now here I'm gonna play, do I wanna play the companion or do I wanna play this uh, renewal? Renewal is slightly more aggressive. I think I'm gonna go with that plan. So I'm gonna play Haunted Witness, then I'm gonna play Renewal. I'm gonna make a 2-2 elf. And then we're just gonna look to out aggression our opponent. Or if we draw a good uh, Convoke spell off the top of our library, we can just kind of uh, quickly out aggression our opponent. All right, so Spybog is gonna get a plus one, plus one counter. So they looked at the top three cards of their library and they wanted all of them. All right, now I think we just wanna start with a attacking, I suppose. I'm going to give the Haunted Witness here flying because uh, Recruiter has First Strike and our 2-2 uh, Elf has Vigilance. So if our opponent blocks here, I'm going to use the Take Heart and then I'm going to cast Companions here as well. Alright, so our opponent is not going to block. So now I'm just going to play out the Wild. Um, Saratok, wild Saratok. Companions would be better if we had. Uh, if we had a convoke spell, but since we don't, I'm just gonna play out the uh, Saratok. All right, now it's up to our opponent to come up with something. So they're gonna return that to their hand, our hand, and then they're gonna surveil three times. Surveil once, but look at three cards. So our opponent's probably trying to find a removal spell here. So maybe companions was better in that spot. Alright, so our opponent is down to 7 here. Alright, there is another Companions. So I'm going to move the combat and start with swinging... Uh, I don't want to swing with everything here because the rock and the witness. I guess I swing here and here. See if our opponent blocks. If they block, I can just take heart. Interesting. Maybe a bit of a misstep on our opponent's part. Because now we're going to be able to first strike this spy bug. Alright, these are going to trade, but now we're going to companions and make two 1-1s. One Hopefully uh, they don't have a removal spell like neg 1, neg 1 the board. That would feel really bad. We are definitely a go wide strategy.
So our strategy is pretty uh, fragile, but... All right, they're going to kill something and tap something. Which, that was instant speed. I'm not sure why they chose to do it now. I guess in case we had a take heart, they didn't want it surviving. All right, I'm going to start by attacking. I'm going to play out this Ceratok. They have to come up with a way to destroy everything on the board, and the best way they can do that... Alright, we're going to discard a Companions here. The best way they can do that is negative one, negative one the board. Alright, there's a Surveillance, and I think our opponent probably loses from this point. Killing that spy bug was definitely a uh, swing in our favor. Alright, and that is the game. Uh, in between matches here. Ooh, we just went up to gold tier 1. Haven't played a lot of uh, rank drafts. I'm hoping to change that. I'm going to try and record as many of them as I can. Alright, on to game number 2. Uh, big shout out while we're waiting for our opponent to all our sponsors, affiliates, and patrons. Uh, if you want to become a supporter of the Crocodile MTG channel, you can head over to our Patreon page at patreon.com slash crocodile MTG. Uh, we give away cool prizes. We're going to do start doing giveaways to our patrons. Uh, we have a Crocodile MTG token coming out. Uh, we, we're going to have a lot of fun on the Patreon page. I want to be able to give back to you guys. And if you enjoy my content, you can feel free to support me if you'd like. Um, with this opening hand, I'm going to keep. Manitraders.com is an awesome place where you can buy, rent, trade, and sell if you want to check them out. All right, turn one Healer's Hawk, and then I'm not going to attack because it has Summoning Sickness. I am not a noob, I promise. But if they do swing in, I am going to block here. Next turn is probably just the Guardian. I don't want them to have a bunch of Mentor creatures out. Uh, that's a quick way to overwhelm our board state. Uh, next turn we can play out Centaur and hopefully we can overwhelm them. Uh, take Heart here. Now, first strike. Alright. That was rough. Alright, so now we're actually going to play this Marshal, and then we're going to Convoke out the Centaur, develop our board state. I'm going to start by swinging in with this Healer's Hawk. Uh, we want to play as many of our lands as we can in case we draw uh, March the Multitudes. finally found their third land here. There is a Knight of Autumn. Uh, I guess we're going to start by swinging in. Uh, Knight of Autumn, I guess we can probably just make it a 4-4. Or a 4-3. There's our opponent's fourth land. Uh, they're going to play Legionnaire. Um, I don't... I guess I can swing in with Centaur here. Yeah, 
if he... I was going to say, if they want to trade, I'm fine with trading two cards for this, but... It'd be nice to find uh, March. So we can swing in the True Fire here if we want. I don't think I mind doing. If they want to trade, they can trade. All right, we took four off of that. Our opponent definitely has the advantage right now because of how many cards they have in their hand. Uh, this can definitely swing in their favor. We'd like to find some of our Convoke cards if possible. March for the Multitudes is a really good one. I'd like to find um, maybe our Worm that's a 5-5 would be nice. Alright, Rubblevelt Boar, I think the best thing our opponent could do is attack with Legionnaire. Or if they Burrows Challenger, okay yeah. They put her on Legionnaire. Okay, they choose not to. Not to attack. Alright, I'm not gonna cast anything here. So our opponent is at 5, though, so. Even though we're not. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh my goodness. And just lands on top of lands on top of lands. We have less than a 5% chance of drawing March for the Multitudes. We also have drawn two of our rares already, so I don't feel like we're going to draw March this game. Oh my goodness, they have a Frenzy. Pass back here. Any Convoke spell we are going to play, uh, we want to use Amara. That way we can make a token. Alright, there's another Ornery Goblin. There's a land. Our opponent's able to play off the top of their library, which is ridiculous in and of itself. Oh my gosh. They're just probably going to go off here. This is bad as uh, against playing against Mono Red. They have an Experimental Frenzy and a Legions at, uh, and a Tajik here. Alright, I'm not going to block. Alright, there's a Take Heart. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, they definitely have the upper hand. Man, I wish I was had a way I could bounce this Knight of Autumn and kill Frenzy. I feel like Frenzy is going to be what kills us. I'd really love to find March. They choose to destroy their experimental frenzy. Interesting. Are they gonna attempt to swing lethal here? Alright, 
here's a locket. So we get to at least draw two. There's a Loxodon. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna hold control here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. So we're gonna make a 1-1, one, one. we're gonna make a 3-2. Hopefully this doesn't just mean we're dead. Um, all right, we gained four. Oh my goodness. Yep, this means we're dead. Yeah, Cosmotonic Wave is definitely a good card. Can't do anything if we can't block anything. I mean, I think they have it. I'd really love that uh, reflection right about now. They have well over, well over the required amount. All right, good game opponent. All right, so we picked up a loss here. No big deal. Let's uh, try to stay in gold here and jump up to the next, next game. All right, let's see here. We have Companion into Loxodon, and we're on the draw. I don't think this hand's that bad. We can keep it. Maybe I should have been a little more aggressive the last game. Let me know down in the comments below if you uh, would have been a little more aggressive. I felt like being defensive and waiting for our out was an okay tactic it just didn't kind of it didn't work in our favor very well all right we're gonna take a couple hits off this uh goblin here it looks like we're against uh just guy all right rock is pretty good here all right we're gonna play out companions play out these loxodons as soon as we can We are gonna get the game some life though. All right, here's a companions from our opponent. Here's a locks or a, a rock of our own. Actually, you know what we can do? Yeah, let's do that. We're gonna actually play out the locket and then play the uh, the guardian. For this turn and then next turn we can play uh possibly double loxodon restorer and just powerhouse our board out all right there's a fresh faced recruiter from our opponent there's a haunted witness followed up by a loxodon nope all right, they're gonna gain some life here. Surprised they're doing that. They're taking a little bit more of a defensive route, it seems. So how do I wanna do this? I definitely wanna play this land. 
if I rock, we have three mana open. Yeah, we have enough to do that. So I'm going to play out rock here, and then I'm also going to play uh, this guardian. We look like we're mono white right now. Alright, Rock's gonna be good. Here's a Skyline Scout. Alright, we're gonna block this other Rock here. If we blocked uh, the Ornery Goblin, we'd actually lose our Goblin. So what's our opponent's board? Anything we're worried about? No, it doesn't look like it. So we're going to leave back Guardian here. We're going to get in for four. Uh, now we're just going to play out Loxodon. Now we can get pretty aggressive next turn. All right, so rocks coming in, Skyline Scout, Recruiter. Anything else, opponent? All right, one of these things He's just going to give everything flying. Alright. That makes more sense. Okay, so there's March for the Multitudes. Maybe I want to wait a turn and play that. Yeah, I don't think I mind that. We get to play it for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Six, seven, five plus seven. We get to play it for nine. And then we just get to swing in on our opponent's board of uh, X ones. So if Rock doesn't get in here, then I feel like we're in a pretty good uh, spot. So we get to play it for nine here. All right, now we're just on the attack everything and it is what it is plan. Uh, if something blocks rock here, I'm probably going to just kill it with take heart. Alright, rock blocks rock. Unless our opponent doesn't... I was going to say, unless our opponent doesn't do this. So now my choices are kill goblin ornery or kill rock. I guess let's see here. Nine... Nine plus three is 12. So now do I want to kill Rock or do I want to kill Ornery Goblin? Let's see, this dies, that dies, Skyline Scout. Yeah, I think I'm fine here with uh, trading with the Goblin. We're gonna gain a bunch off the take heart. We're up to 30, and then we're going to gain a bunch off this attack. So we're up to 42. We're going to draw two cards off the locket, and now our opponent is got to find a way to get out of this. Cosmic Wave is definitely a start. 
All right, we get to replace one with Haunted Witness. All right, our opponent concedes anyhow. That was pretty good. That march for the multitudes for nine. That felt really good. All right, we got a card. Let's see what it is. A Foul Orchard from uh, Ixalan. Or is this Rivals of Ixalan? Ixalan is the compass. So that was Rivals of Ixalan. All right, we have two Healer's Hawk and a Giant Worm. Let's do this. Let's kill things with a Giant Worm. A little awkward because we don't have a second white to play out these two, uh, two white spells. All right, so we can Convoke out Centaur next turn. Which I don't think I mind. Alright, here's a marshal for our opponent. Ooh, maybe I just play out Autumn. Attack and then play out Autumn. Seems like a uh, good plan. Uh, I'm just gonna make a 4 3 here. And we'll see what our opponent plays. Alright, there's a dropper. That one's a little little annoying. So if I swing in here, I can make a centaur. Yeah, I think that's fine. I'm going to swing in here with Healer's Hawk. I'm going to play Haunted Witness. I'm going to play a forest, and then I'm going to centaur. Uh, if he swings with Dropper and something else, centaur just uh, can kill whatever he pumps up. Oh, storm here. Okay. Maybe a little bit of misplay on my part. So it's going to make a 1-1. One, one. Alright, here's Recruiter. We can also make a 5-5. Five, five. So we have eight mana, five, six, seven. All right, so instead of attacking this turn, we can, then we're just dead. Five, eight, 10, 11. We're possibly just dead to that. What's the safer plan? Healer's Hawk? All right, let's play Recruiter. Yeah, let's do this. No attacks. Now for our opponent attacks, we're gonna get to eat something, hypothetically. We at least don't die uh, because of this. Our opponent, two cards in hand. We're not sure what either of them are. All right, there is a boar. Going to give a token lifelink. Swing in with three. Okay. Mentor the token. That's interesting. So I think I want to keep our fourth. Maybe I want to keep our three, four around. All right, we're going to block like this. Interesting. All right, so we only need two creatures back. So we're going to attack with these hawks and convoke out the worm. So 
So unless our opponent has something super good, I think I think we're pulling ahead here. All right, there's a sergeant, which I don't mind. Yeah, if our opponent two for ones himself, I don't think I mind that against our worm. Interesting. So they're actually three for wanting themselves. All right, here's a haunted witness for you, opponent. So even if our opponent attacks, I think I'm fine with that. Okay, so our, our opponent saves their sergeant, but they can't... I guess we leave the token back. I was gonna say they can't mentor it a second time. Uh, we'll play this land out. This is a good card. All right, so we're just going to attack, I guess, here. All right, I'm fine with that. This is instant speed, so we can cast it on our opponent's turn. Seems good. Because this is not first strike. That's not the first striking one. As long as your turn creatures control, that's fine. Swing in with everything, please. Alright, even that's fine. We're going to take one here. Alright, now our opponent's on the back beats. I guess there's no reason to play out this planes. So if we draw a march to the, to the multitudes, we can just, uh, I think this is just, it's not game, but it's pretty close to game. Our opponent's probably going to get hit for three here. And then we just have two flyers in the air next turn. Yep. Alright, end the turn. So our opponent has like one out, and that's like the, uh, okay, they didn't draw it. I was going to say that's the uh, deal one damage to each uh, creature your opponent controls. Alright, couple coins here. Up to three wins, one loss. Hopefully we can uh, get some more wins. Alright, we have a Healer's Hawk on turn one. We're going to keep this hand. This hand's actually pretty good. Turn one Hawk. No one can beat it. They're going to deadweight it. Oh, they have an Imp? Ah, that's so unfair. Alright, we're going to play Marshall here. Uh, play a forest. We're not going to attack. Alright, 
one three. This is unfortunate. All right, we're just gonna play out our centaur here. Centaur maybe can uh, get us some hits. Unless they play out like a giant wall, like an 05 or something. Alright, dead weight on the centaur. So now it's a 2 2. So that's no good. Alright, there's a, an Amara. Here's what we're gonna do we're gonna play out this uh, locket and then we're gonna play the Amara with the leftover mana. Uh, not attacking. Hopefully we can uh, get some beats in with this Amara. Or at least uh, convoke some spells with it. Ah, uh, Notion Rain such a good card. One of the reasons to play uh, blue-black is for Notion Rain. Alright, we're not doing really well on the beats. They had to turn one Imp, which uh, was rough on us. Maybe I should just sack and draw two. And then we can convoke something out, maybe. Nope. We have a rock, though. So that can at least uh, let us swing with a Mara in the air with flying. Target creature can't be blocked this turn, so it's pass wall adept. So that could be potentially a good card as well. Here's a spine centipede. Gross. Alright, so we're going to play out rock. We're going to play out... Uh, Hunted Witness. Hopefully Rock uh, gets us there. I'm going to swing a Healer's Hawk here. They're going to probably block, which I'm fine with. Uh, the reason for that is because I want to be able to swing with Rock and Amara and not have to worry about any combat tricks that I don't know about. There's a March for the Multitudes. Gonna swing like this. Oh my goodness. What is this nonsense? I should have just held back March. I'm so sorry, everyone. That was so bad. We can march for eight here, though, if we want. They're going to bounce a token? I don't think so. We're marching for eight. I'll probably block Amara here. Yep. All right, let's see nothing from our opponent. So now if we swing, we lose four tokens. I guess that's worth it. Swing with everything, and then... So 8, 9, 10, 11. This probably gets blocked. So we have 12, 12 creatures on the battlefield. Four of them get blocked. We go down to 8. They take 8. All right. Um, I guess give Centaur flying. Oh, I forgot Marshall makes one too. I think this is game next turn.
We're going to gain a bunch at least. As long as they don't have any like board wipes that I don't, I don't know about. All right, so they dazzling light did. Okay, they don't know what's on top. They surveilled two lands away. So now they're down to eight. They have four blockers. Let me just companion. So nine, ten, eleven, eleven attackers. They block four, go down the side. Oh, no! Oh! That felt so bad. They just must have drawn that off the top. Oh, my gosh. Oh! Oh no. Do we have a, even have a way to claw back in this? I guess we do. We're at 25. We have a little bit of time. Oh my gosh. That was so bad. That's exactly what they needed. I guess I block here. This isn't getting much better. They're gonna get to put a counter on a uh, Dream Eater or the bats, but if they put it on Dream Eater, all right, they put it on the bats. They could just make their creatures unblockable too, so I don't think there's anything. Do I just pass here? Even if I make a 4-3, I don't think it's... It's not going to get through the crab. I guess we'll play door outs. We have to get something good, though. On our library. I'm trying to look at our grave. Thinking about what we have in there still. We have another centaur. We have the loxodons. All right, eight three and menace and vigilance. No, so we're taking twelve here. Oof. So next turn it's lethal. Yeah, we just draw a land. That's the game. Oh, that was so good from our opponent. We were definitely playing to our outs and uh, did not get there on that one. All right. I think we're at three, three wins, two losses. Uh, let's keep it going. Hopefully we can uh, get there. Alright, turn one hawk, turn three knight. We're gonna keep this hand. Hawk it up. Pass the turn. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery that targets it, do a bunch of stuff. All right, I think we're just going to out aggression our opponent. I hope that's the plan. All right, whenever you cast an instant or sorcery that targets that creature. All right, now. Now what do I do? Play a Loxodon? I guess I can play a Centaur. 
We're not under any pressure right now. So whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, the instant or sorcery spell that targets it, you may copy that spell and choose each creature it's not targeting. Okay. Uh, that's unfortunate. They're going to kill our centaur here, probably. They have to discard a non-land card. A jump start. Okay. Interesting, they didn't swing with both. I wonder if that was a mistake. So we can swing in here for five if we wanted. I think that seems fine. And then we'll just follow up with a wild uh, Sarah talk. Lava Coil from our opponent. Okay, now they swing in with Wolf. I was gonna say. Now though we can return and deal five. If they jumpstart that. Oh no. I see the combo here. That is super scary. If they jumpstart the grav uh, gravical punch, every creature they control deals uh, damage equal to their power to us. So they can just have a giant board of redonkulous. That's so bad. Uh, we're probably going to march here, depending on how they attack. That is scary. Just being able to gravical punch us. All right, let's see here. We end up losing one token four five six seven we make four tokens instead of okay, I'm gonna let this happen We make four, right? I'm just gonna have them all block this uh, mage. Oh my gosh, they have the iron eyes. I should have just blocked. Are we just dead now? Don't go out like this. At least we're gonna go out in flavor. Oh, I'm so sad about that. I was hoping we were gonna be able to gain four off this march and then our opponent had the iron eyes. Well, now they can just grab a gold punch for the win. That's such a crazy combo. Please do that. I wanna at least end in a End in a uh, tivy of fun and fury. All right, I'm gonna block like this. Every 
everything gets first strike. Yep. I'm crying on the inside. This is so bad. We just lose here, right? If I don't play the uh, Marshall. Yep. All right, two blockers. Kill me with the punch. Kill me with the punch. Ah. Uh, wait, why they didn't Ah, uh, Exaxes though. All right, good game opponent. They almost killed me with the punch. I thought the punch would work like that. Target creature you control deals damage to target opponent. Oh my gosh, we only got three wins and three losses. What is this? All right, we'll open our pack though. Hopefully it's something good. All right, we have a disinformation campaign, a common wild card, and a find finality. That's a pretty good card. Overall, I was pretty happy with this draft. I thought we were going to do a little better than we did. We got um, out uh, outspiced a little bit in our draft today. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate all the viewership. Uh, please go hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed today's video. And please go check out our awesome sponsor, Mana Traders. They are the number one and best card rental service on the market. We use them for all our MTGO videos. We use them on, uh, we rent their paper magic for major tournaments. Uh, overall, I have been very impressed with their services. I've used them for years. And then we start, when we started Crocodile MTG, we reached out and they actually became a sponsor. So that was really awesome. If you would like to personally support Crocodile MTG and have fun while doing it and receive awesome benefits, you can head over to our Patreon account at patreon.com slash crocodile MTG. And also we are affiliated with Inked Gaming. So if you use promo code crocodile MTG 10 on any of your purchases on awesome play mats they have over there, you can also make custom play mats. Uh, if you use that promo code, you get 10% off your order and a little bit of your order ends up going to us and it also helps support the channel. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you had a great time. Uh, we had fun, but again, I wish we uh, got some more wins in there. So thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Please go hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed today's video. For your custom play mats, mouse pads, and more, head over to Inked Gaming. Use promo code CROCODILEMTG10 to receive 10% off your order. Today's video was brought to you by all our wonderful sponsors, affiliates, and patrons.